Right, um, this is the knackered corn rod. So let's see. I've took one clip out. Now these are just a, a wire clip. So spike your thing, put your finger over the top, and hopefully the end of it is somewhere around there. So you go in the slot. And there it is. Right, I've got a piece of threaded rod and a washer and that washer fits down the hole but not with a good gym pin right I'm just going to whip the rings off I've got another piece of tube which will allow the little end to pass through. I'm just going to put a piece of lead over there just to protect the piston a bit. nip it up and I'm going to warm the piston up. Just to put a bit of warm in it to see what happens. Oh dear. <laughs> there you go. One naked little end. Pistons in quite good, Nick. Although they're a bit, they're a bit worn now. Yeah, they'll use again. Right, I'll do the other one. Same process. Oh, looks like you've been making a bit of contact, that. Oh, that's just there. So, that's the good one. Well, the one I'm going to use. Again, piston's alright. Apart from that bit of damage around there. So, I think that'll go again. Right, the little end. I'm going to use the same trick, but the, bu the bush, the bush, what falls through that one, I'm going to use to push it out, and I'm going to put a socket on the back. Right, and to get the uh, little end out, same thing, I'm going to use that loose little end bush. Right. See if there's a dent in that side. Right, go up that side. Oh, 
Let me sort it as far as you can. Dead square. Just give that a nip. Oh, I'm just going to warm it up a bit. Right, oh, bush. I've just got a bit of pipe, so just a bit more depth on. It's right in the last piece, hopefully, it'll come out in this little, little bit. There's the old one, and there's the worn one. And it'll end out. Put a new one in that. Right, I'll do the same thing again. This is the best rod out of the other two I had. Nice and lined up. Just to turn to give it a bit of a nip. A bit, of a bit of a hassle. Yeah, it's a bit stuck that one, but it seems to it to come out. Point one, finish it off. That's it. So I'll be using them two rods. Yeah, them two rods. And them two, if I could get some done with a little lens, they'd be alright. So I might be able to get them serviced. Um, just a bit of an experiment here. This is the one of the knackered rods. I'm just trying some... Uh, well, it's Genelite, this one, I think. Uh, it's a rust remover. I'm just seeing if it takes the carbon off off the rod. Now, put a little bit on a minute, a minute ago. Well, that seems to be the stuff, actually. So I've used a little bit of phosphoric acid. I think I'll do them up. I think I will clean them. He's one of the ones I'm going to use. Well, let's see. I could do with a better brush because that one's dropping to bits. <laughs> right, so I've chopped all the bristles off. It's like a jelly, this stuff. Just gonna do it down here. I'll dab it on thicker where the carbon's the most. Right, I'm just going to leave that a minute. And while I'm at it, I'm going to just dress me uh, little end bushes up. These are the new ones I'm going to put in. Now, that is really tight on the gudgeon pin. So, I ain't got a horn, so I'm going to use carburundum or silicon carbide paper and I'm going to put this onto a split pin it's a little bit the width a little bit bigger than the brush right, I'm not going to leave this on for ages I want to see how quick it is Oh, 
much got the thick of. And then a little tiny nick in there. Well, it's it is a bit. Mm, a lot shinier that one than that one. Two different ages, these con rods. These, as far as I'm aware, possibly, I think they're originals. And these are ones I replaced. Yeah, that worked to make it yeah, gentle. I think I'll give these a polish up. Why? Because I can. So I'll get the solver on. There's a little casting dink in there. I think I'll sand that off as well. So these are going to get a bit of wet and dry. And then a polish. Also in the big ends, I'll use the old one again. Right, got the cap off. Now, all this black in here, I want that off. And all these marks, I want off. So I'm using a thousand grit carborundum paper. A bit of squirt. I don't want any metal taken off. I just want the black off. And that's it. That'll do. And I'll do the same on the rod. Not a lot, because I'm not trying to take metal off, I'm just trying to take the carbon off. Or the vast majority. And that'll do me. Well, Jake give us these. Standard big ends. But... This one's rust damaged on the back. So same thing, and I want to fail that compared to them. I'm going to wet and dry that off. There's also rust down these edges. I'm going to take that off. Again, I'm going to sand it, not enough to remove metal, uh, just to remove the surface stains. Again, I'm going to use 1000 grit and take the rust off. Oh, it's quite, quite deep, is that one? to do I'll do a little bit on the edge a bit on the ends so yeah that's the worst of the bunch got rid of that now still stained but uh, I can't feel any it's nice and smooth now. So, yeah, that'll do. Right. There's a tight little end bush. Right tight. Goes almost on, so it's a bit at this end. So, I'm going to roll this up. So it's the same size as the oil in the bin. I 
and square and then gently twiddle the brush now it's quite slack on there so I'm going to be turning it and moving it in and out at the same time and I will do this until this bush fits that worn little end Yes, now that's actually slacker in the middle than it is on the good jumping ends because obviously that's where all the movement is. So it's got a tight spot here. I'm going to give that another, just a couple of turns. gentle I'm not putting any pressure on it I'm literally twisting and then it should stay square with the bush I am expecting them to shrink a bit when I put them in the rods well, this can take hours I use a reamer but reamers take a lot off can't feel any clicking on it so right that's nice and tight well not nice and tight it's nice and on that spins all right though right and also Again, thousand grit. It's well worn this now. I'm just going to have a, a slight run. Now I know I've got a. I know. Uh, I'm not removing metal. I'm just cleaning up the carbon out of it a bit. Don't want to go mad. I just want it to be have a rub over. That looks alright in there to me. A little bit here. Right. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. In fact, I've done to these rods. I've just cleaned, just cl just cleaned them up a touch. Right, I'm going to put the little ends in them. <laughs> 